Hello everyone, welcome back to the parallel programming in Shisha. In this video, we will discuss another method that is the parallel for each loop in the Shisha. So it is also like similar to the standard Shisha for each loop. But the thing is when we go with the parallel for each loop, so it works uh, with the multi-threading or the parallel way. Like for performing this operation, we have the multiple thread that perform this parallel for each loop. But in the case of the standard for each loop, there only single thread perform the operation and it, that printed the sequential manner. So similar to the parallel for loop, this parallel for each loop also works. So let's understand this parallel for each loop with an example. So here, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to print some data uh, using the uh, like standard for each loop. So console dot write line and here I will say standard for each loop. And before that, since this loop works on over the list, so I'm going to make a one dummy data here. So let's take it list and I'm going to make it as an integer type. So let's take it use the as a generic. Okay, and so we will take the namespace and I'm going to take as an integer type. And let's take this name as a length equal to I'm going to use the enumerable that available in the link dot range. And this I'm going to give from 0 to 10 dot to list. So this data I have taken. Now let's use the for each loop. So this will go the collection is basically okay. Let's take this object name as the collection. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this one. And here I will say the value is And here I'm going to say the item and thread the whatever the thread is running this loop and after that let's uh, call that slip method and this one I'm going to for the 10 second now similar to this one let's do for the parallel for loop so here I'm going to use the parallel And how we can use that one. So similar to that parallel uh, for loop, it will work for the for each. So now instead of that one, what we have to do, we, we have to use the for each. Now it's take the source first and then action body. So that we have to assign here. So first assign the collection or the list. And then we have to take a one local variable that is the i and using the lambda expression, what we have to do, we have to perform this operation. So let's print that as we have done for the standard for each loop. So now at point of this time, like here, so this is the item. So here, what we have to do, we have to use this I. Now let's run this application. So when we will run this application, we will say this for each loop will work as a uh, using the multi-threaded uh, mode. And we can see here, like it is working as expected and if we we can see like it is not printing in the sequential manner as the standard for each loop working and here we can see only single thread is working but here multi threaded uh, on doing the operation so this is the way like this parallel for each loop is working with the parallel manner so generally the parallel for each loop and the parallel for loop we use for improving the performance so similar to that one we can check the performance for this loop as well so for that one as we did for like uh, parallel for loop we can check for this also so let's take so stop watch dot start new and here let's stop it So watch dot stop and after that let's print it. So console dot write line and here I will say time taken and what I will say is watch 
dot elapse milliseconds so in that manner we we can check it now similar to this one we will do for the parallel for loop also and let's copy it and paste it here so, and now let's run this application and we can see here like this parallel for each loop is taking the less time than the standard for each loop so like we can say this parallel for loop or parallel for each loop is basically we use it for the performance perspective means this parallel loops is uh, are better better than the standard loops and the next thing is now even we have the um, parallel option for the uh, for each loop also means like the parallel option as we have seen for the parallel loop like to um, like restrict number of the threads for the particular loop so let's understand that how we can do for this also so for that one first what i'm going to do i'm going to get rid of all this uh, loop things and now what i'm going to do i'm going to take one option and that's let's take this option equal to new parallel option and here what i'm going to assign i'm going to assign is max degree of parallelism and we can assign to two so if we will assign to two here so what will happen this will work with the two threads only as we have seen for the parallel for loop also so when i will run this application at point of this time what we will see only two thread will be working for the same and we can see only one and five is the thread which will like which is executing this for each loop so in that manner like we can use the max degree of parallelism uh, to assign the like how many thread will be going to execute this particular operation or in the operation for for each loop so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you